Hey everyone, today I wanna to talk about weird feet and that those weird feet we're talking about today are not flat ones, but the opposite. They're the ones with the really high arches. And so these feet are particularly difficult because they're floating in the air, right? So if your arch is really high up off the ground, I'm gonna kind of turn. So this is a foot right here. This isn't a hand, this is a foot. A flat foot, high arch foot. I think it's somewhere in between, right? And this might be normal, this might be a high arch. If I do this, my arch is really far away from the ground. And so I need very big fluctuations in the ground if I'm gonna feel that arch. And if I'm gonna get a sense for where I am in space, you might be wondering what's in my hand. We're gonna talk about it later. Um, we really though have paved every road that we walk on and everything is flat. So we're never gonna feel that arch unless you have a good supportive shoe, maybe some sort of ASICS shoe that I've talked about in the past where your heel barrier, the counter of the heel is very sturdy and you got a little bit of cushion in there so that you can compress and so that you can feel the arch. But I'm gonna tell you a little anecdote. I have a guy with really high arches and I got him those shoes and they definitely helped, but they didn't solve all of his problems. Well, one, because he has other motor problems that he needs to work on, but two, because he didn't get this, all the sensation of his foot that it that was requiring, what it was re requesting. So he got a, a sense of where his heel was, but he didn't get a sense for where his arch was. And so what we did instead was, I found these little instep uh, arch support, extra arch support for those who need it, the Power Step Arch Booster. And what I did, I'll, I'll pull these out so you can see them. They're just little foam pads with sticky on the back. They look like this. And you can kind of trim them down if they're too big for a given shoe, if they're coming outside the arch and they're just messing other things up. But what they do is, it's not that they provide arch support, though that's what this is kind of saying. And I think that's a way to explain it to, you know, random people. I'm gonna stop. It's probably really loud and annoying. They're not really supporting the arch in this guy's case, or in the case of somebody with really high arches. What they're doing is they're bringing the ground up so that they can get an idea of where their foot is. That's all that arch is running away from the ground and it just needs some feedback. It just needs a little sensation. And so what we do is we put this in the shoe in the arch area and it brings that up and it provides that foot with just a little bit of feedback. It's not necessarily increasing the arch, it's giving them something to push into. And so relative to the deadlift, this is important because I need to be able to push through my whole foot if I'm gonna deadlift with my whole musculature, if I'm gonna use all of my muscles. And so if I'm getting a good leg drive, then I'm gonna have to be able to be feeling all of my feet, right? Part of this is helped by doing it barefoot. Um, but if you have really high arches, like I, you know, I, in my experience, those people don't get helped so much by lifting barefoot. It helps maybe a little bit, but those, those heels are still kind of floating around because there's no forefoot arch support there. And so if you get these little pads and you put them in your nice little ASIC shoes, uh, they, can, they can really help you access some glute musculature to finish your deadlifts instead of, you know, just this rigid spinal, finish like this. You start to lean back like that and you can never really shut your back off. So those are just some thoughts, too many thoughts probably, on high arches when you're deadlifting.